Shalom, 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 shalom. Before we uh, get into this listen, first and foremost, want to start by giving all praises and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rakakadash. Secondly, want to give double honors to the elders, apostles of Great Millstone. Who rule well and third want to get salutations to all the Akim that's all the hopeful elect that pushing forth this word and this truth and righteousness and sincerity throughout the four corners. Shalom, shalom, shalom. My brother Haka from GMS South Carolina Midlands. And pretty much, you know, I'm saying the video that I'm gonna be doing um, you know, tonight, uh rather, well this evening rather, is from off of, uh Elder uh, Apostle Gabar uh YouTube page, uh Daily Edification for and I believe this right here was just uh, a video that he recorded from, um, I believe it was uh, uh, the elder from um, Atmoth, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, Atmoth, if I ain't mistaken. Um, matter of fact, hold on. Matter of fact, let me turn. Okay. Okay, yeah, GMS News Atmoth, okay. Off that brother page, if I ain't mistaken, I believe that's the, the elder brother from uh, Indiana, if I'm not mistaken. But nonetheless, um he was uh he had a segment of his video where it was going into you you had uh, IUIC members evidently they were talking to a uh, uh, Eve uh you know what I'm saying what she prescribed to who knows at the end of the day but she knows she's a Hebrew Israelite nonetheless and she know the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and so that's what's uh, I guess supposed to be a debate or whatever, if I'm not mistaken, you know what I'm saying? Um, that's, that's taking place in this video. Now I ain't going to necessarily say a debate, but she was asking a question, uh, to IUIC members about what is the true name of our Lord, you know, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ and which IUIC, that's the name that they use loosely as well to not loosely. They use that name all the damn time. They don't come in the true name of Yahweh Bashi Yahweh Shai, man. They be talking about some most high and blessed because their head, their leader, you know, he, he switched the doctrine around, you know, when he sold out to Esau, man. All right. And we ain't have to physically see Nate Satan. All right. Uh, uh, take a bag from Esau to know that he done sold out. All thing we have to do is just see the doctrine, the doctrine, how he's switching up the doctrine. All right. You know, and how. You know, he taking away the name. At one time, he was teaching on the name. Now, he don't know the name all of a sudden. You know, it's not like this nigga just got amnesia all of a sudden, man. Okay? He know, he know what he was doing. But nonetheless, man, we're going to um, check out this video here showing you how IUIC, it, you know, one of many examples of them going off, man. Showing you that you have Shema Shai ain't dealing with no damn IUIC, man. All right? And, and like I said, let, let it see and letting you see that right there for yourself, man. Like, we be we don't be making nothing up on these guys. These guys be going off, man. All right. And then they going off on, you know what I'm saying? On, on, on scriptures, you know what I'm saying? Going off on prophecy. They go off on damn everything, man. They just, they just getting worse and worse. But the latest, you know what I'm saying? When you are taking away the name of Yahweh Bashim Shai away from Israel, man, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you're taking, you, you, you're, you're taking the skin. You're plucking the skin off of Israel, man. All right. You know, you putting them back to sleep, man. But nonetheless, man. All right. Let's let this video right here play here. Number what? Three minutes, 29 seconds. So we let all this play. Elders, man. All right, but let's continue to play this. Damn sure, yeah, I was trying. You know, and, all, and we know his real name for Jesus is what? And we all want to call it. I know it. Those are all titles. I don't care. Who Jesus. is his real name? Sure, yeah, I was shy. I don't care. But who? See, See what he said? Who his real name for Jesus is what? And we all want to call it. I know it. Those are all titles. I don't care. Who Jesus. is his real name? Sure, yeah, I was shy. I don't care. And like I said, you heard this nigga say he don't care. All right. He don't care because he don't freaking sold out, man. And also, he ain't got no fear. You ain't got no goddamn fear, man. That's, that's a problem with you niggas, bro. Problem with you IUIC members, bro. You just like your goddamn leader, man. He's he's fearless, too, when it comes to your how about your with shot, man. When it comes to keeping the commandments to the best of your ability. When your how about your shot give us instructions, man. You know what I'm saying? The, the, this nigga do the totally opposite. And I'm speaking of Nate Satan. And so his dad gone fucking blinded behind you know what i'm saying congregation man doing the same thing like man you, you don't even know the danger that y'all putting yourselves under man by you know what i'm saying denying not only denying the name of yahweh bashim yahweh shah but y'all refusing to teach the true name of yahweh bashim yahweh shah man which which, which that gonna lead y'all to destruction man and, and for anybody to still be following y'all man hey man y'all y'all deserve what the hell y'all get bro y'all deserve what you get bro but who who is jesus real now Emmanuel, 
Titles, right? You hear what he's saying? You heard it right. I say yeah. Jesus. Now we do know Jay was not oh, even yeah, we, in yeah, Jesus, that. I'm sure, yeah, I was you know, and, we, and we know his real name for Jesus is what, and we all up on the court. I know it. Those are all titles. I don't care. If it's who Jesus, is his real name? Sure, yeah, I was shy. Yeah, I, I don't, don't, don't care. But who, who is Jesus' real name? Yeah. Emmanuel. Uh, okay. Emmanuel. What is the real name? Because I've studied it. Y'all don't know what. Those are titles. Give me that revelation. Okay, so the real name, because it's in the Bible. I ain't trying to go off. For Jesus is Yahweh Shah. It's in the Bible. Now we have one guest joining us. That's a goddamn shame, bro. Here it is. You got the end of, bro. The end of, man, on higher level than you damn clown niggas, bro. The end of, man. You niggas are refusing, man, to teach on the true name of Yahweh Bashim out with shot. And these clowns, I guess they're in some type of leadership position. Nate got them so-called debating with this uh with the Eve Eve dove here. You know what I'm saying? And these clowns are going right there um with the protocol. With Nate Satan protocol, man. You know? And you can you can kinda like look at them and they know. When she's mentioning the name Yahweh Shah. Man, see how they were looking at each other, man. They man, matter of fact, let me rewind a little bit, man. Look, just just check out these niggas' expressions, man, uh, on their faces when she say the name of Yahweh Shot, man. Cause 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 that show you right there that they know the true name, man. Which 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 make these niggas even more wickeder, man. Cause y'all know y'all lying, man. Y'all know the name y'all y'all refuse to teach your name because you you your wicked ass fucking leader, man. Nate Satan, man. He done sold out, man. All right, I don't know y'all niggas getting a piece of crumbs too from Nate Satan table. I don't know if he breaking y'all off some, but guess what, man? At the end of the day, man, all y'all going in destruction, man. All right, most likely gonna destroy all y'all wicked behind niggas. Like El Apostles always say, bro, y'all about to shot gonna break that shit up, bro. All right, that I U I C. Most likely gonna break that shit up, man. But I'm gonna rewind the part with the end of talking about uh, when she said the true name of Yahweh Shah, and, and look at these clowns right here. Look at the expressions on their faces, man. All right. Okay. I know. I what is the real name? Because I've studied it. Y'all don't know what. Those are titles. Give me that revelation. Okay, so the real name, because it's in the Bible. I ain't trying to go off. For Jesus is Yahweh Shah. It's in the Bible. Now we have one guest joining us also. With see, 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 look at these damn niggas' cheesy looks on their goddamn faces, bro. Huh? See the cheesy looks on their faces? Well, I tell you, man. Especially the one right there, you know what I'm saying, to the left. You know what I'm saying? Uh, of the end of, man. Look at the smirk on his damn face. Let's I that again. I sure you how shy. Real name. Sure you how shy. Who is the real name? Sure you how shy. Does not the scripture say that you must give an answer to those that ask you of your faith? So it's in the scriptures that we're supposed to give that name out. We're supposed to, if we're asked, but we're not casting our pearls before swine. But when you deal with Jake, you're supposed to tell them who their deliverer is. Who do you come in? What name? What did Moses say? Moses said, I, uh, who, who, what is your name? So I may tell them who sent me. And the Lord said, I am that I am. Yahweh, Yahweh. And that's what you, and then how much more now? Where is his son? Because we got to know who, 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 who's delivering us truly now. It's Yahweh Shai. Okay, so Moses asked and said, look, father, what is your name? So I may tell Jake. So you, the same spirit that we're coming in, Jake is going to ask, well, isn't our deliverer, gee, that don't even like framing that out of my mouth. So you have to tell them, no, his name is not that. His name is Yahweh Shai, which is he is the deliverer. Okay, so they're, they're sowing confusion right here. But this, the, the, and it's a damn shame that a nigga woman that's not even supposed to be teaching. All right, the end dub is not even supposed to be teaching. And that's a big facts, bro. That's true. A woman don't supposed to be teaching, man. But at the end of the damn day, because she going off, being in the middle of damn men and shit, and running her big ass mouth, you know, thinking she thinking, thinking she on a level. But nonetheless, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Whatever level she thinks she on is still higher than these two clown niggas right here, man. Or IUIC, man. 
which which, which make y'all look real bad. Y'all 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 look pitiful, and, and you know what I'm saying. Y'all look real bad, bro. In this case, in this situation right here, man, y'all looking real stupid, man. But actually, how about you, Shah revealing you false prophets, man? That's all. This, that, that, that's all was going on, man. All right. And you heard what she said. She's done the research. Where where do you think she's done the research at? What group is pushing the name? Because it ain't IUIC. <clears throat> because they're clearly not wanting to, to push it why they have the chance. So where do you think she learned that name from? Because there's other groups that push it. All right? We ain't going to go through all the names, but the names are out there. If it sticks, then it's going to... If, if the would say the shoe fits, then you can put it on, man. Yeah, we, we know where she got it from. Gray Millstone. All right? You know, through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Great millstone, you know what I'm saying? We push and we come in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man, diligently, man, and consistently and daily. Most importantly, daily, bro. Daily, man. We always come in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, bro. We ain't coming in no any other name, bro. All right, because that's the only true name of our power, Yahweh, in the Hebrew, which is the name of the world I mean, we call God. His Hebrew name is Yahweh, not no damn Jehovah, man. All right, you know what I'm saying? Yahweh, which means what? He is, he exists, man. All right, you know the true name of our Lord and his Savior. All right, in 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 the Hebrew, is Yahweh Shah, man. All right, not no damn Yeshua. Okay, damn sure for certain, not no goddamn Jesus Christ, man. Okay, and we know the name. We gonna have the name, man. The name of Yahweh Shah. He always left his name with, with with the elect, bro. He always left his name with the elect, and we we gonna grab some scriptures on that, man. So, you know, for somebody to tell you we ain't going to know the name on this side, we ain't going to have the name, you know what I'm saying? All of those are false prophets, man, all right? From from elder apostles of Great Millstone to the elder bishops on down to us, we're here to tell you, man, through the spirit of your Yahweh Shema Rasha. Anybody talking about we ain't going to have the name, we ain't going to know the true name of our power, all right, which is Yahweh, all right, which is the most high name, all right, Yahweh, he is, he is, he is this, and Yahweh Shah, which means he's the deliverer. It, 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 you know what I'm saying? And if they don't come in that name, uh, or, or they tell you we ain't gonna have the name, those false prophets at the end of the day, man. And, and like I said, I'm just get straight to it. We're gonna just get straight to the scriptures, man, to prove that Yahweh Shemal Rashad name never left this earth, man, at the end of the day. All right. Um matter of fact, let me get um you know what I'm saying? Let me get let me let me get let me get, let me get uh let's get Ecclesiasticus, man. Let's get Ecclesiasticus real quick. All right. All right, this right here, Ecclesiastes 1, all right, the, the uh, pro, prologue right here, prologue, all right, the prologue of the wisdom of Yahweh Shah, the son of Sirach. Now, we're going to get straight to the point the where it goes into the different, lang the different um, lang um, language, you know what I'm saying, that are uttered in different tongues, don't have the same meaning and the same power. So when you're translating out of the Hebrew, uh, the, the name of the Most High Yahweh, all right, or the name of Yahweh, I mean the name of the Hebrew, uh, our Lord Yahweh Shah, when you translate it into a, a, a different tongue, like you call the Most High Yahweh, and you, you know you translate it and say it, like in the Greek, uh, uh, Jehovah, or uh, you know tran translate the Lord, you know what I'm saying, you know Yahweh Shah from Hebrew to the Greek, and you talking about Jesus, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, you know. Hey, you know, you taking away the true power of their name, man. All right, you know, and we gonna we gonna we gonna bring it, you know, we are gonna bring in the scripture because you utter their name in different tongues. It don't have it don't have the same power. Ain't no power in no damn Jesus, man. All right, ain't no damn power in no goddamn Jehovah, man. Cause that's not the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, bro. They're not they're not name, man. By true power. But let me get straight to the point, man. I'm, I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna start right here where it says wherefore. All right. It says, wherefore, let me entreat you to read it with favor and attention and to pardon us wherein we may seem to come short of some words which we have labored to interpret for the same things uttered in Hebrew. See, it said the same things uttered in the Hebrew, man. All right. And translated into another tongue. Like, all right. In this case, all right. You translate you do English. You're speaking the English tongue now. All right, you niggas love to call on some Christ, some some Jesus. All right, which going back to Greek, but nonetheless, you know what I'm saying. Them names y'all love to call on, right? We, 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 in a different tongue, which which don't have the same, which don't have no power. It ain't say same power. Ain't got no damn power in that. 
All right, but finishing up, it says for the same things uttered in Hebrew and translated into another tongue have not the same force in them. See, there you go. And not only these things, but the law itself and the prophets and the rest of the books have no small difference when they are spoken in their own language right then and there, man. That's why the ill's apostles always go into. You got to go back to the uh, original um tongue. You know what I'm saying? You got to know some Hebrew. You got to know some Greek. You got to know some Latin and able to call yourself a teacher and go into these scriptures and to study these scriptures and be able to understand it, man. All right. You're going to have to go into the meaning of other words of other tongues, man. And that's what these other uh, Hebrew like camps. That's what they don't like to fucking do, man. They don't like the goddamn labor. They don't like to put in the daggone work at the end of the day. All right. Now, let's get to the point here. We grab that point. You know what I'm saying? Knowing the importance. If you need to know, well, it don't matter what his name. We can say it. No, it ain't. You can't call the Lord any name you want to call him, man. And how foolish is that? Can somebody call you any name they want to call you? And, and are you going to answer to it? Hell no. You're going to answer to the name your mother and your father gave you, man, or whatever chaperone or guardian, whoever named you, man. Or if. You know what I'm saying? You know, you didn't like your name and you wanted to, you know, change your name or whatever the case may be. All right. Nonetheless, the name that you answer to, if somebody call you anything outside of the name that you answer to, you know what I'm saying? You know, if your name John and they calling you Tim, you're not going to listen, bro. You're not going to turn around. You're not going to pay them no attention because you don't know who a, who a Tim is. You must be talking to Tim. My name John. You ain't, you ain't talking to me. All right. You talking to Tim. So, you know, good luck finding them or whatnot. You gonna keep on going by your damn business. How much more you how about you how was shot when he have his prophets out? Starting with the elders apostles to the elder bishops on down to us of great millstone and every other brother coming the same spirit of great millstone through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Al Bashar. Hey man, we giving you the name, bro. We give you the true name. We ain't holding anything back, man. All right, you know what I'm saying? Those, those part of the secrets, man, that Yahweh Bashim Al Bashar has given to his very elect, man, at the end of the day. And for you not to have the name and you don't know the name, that means you ain't know Yahweh Bashim Al Bashar, man. All right, uh, Amos 3 and 7. It says, Surely the Lord God, Yahabashim Yahweh would do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets, man. So that means you're not a prophet of Yahabashim Yahweh Shah, man. All right, and, 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 and the name, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and that's a secret. If somebody is telling you secrets and somebody confided in, into you, they confide into you and they're telling you deep things, you mean to tell me, a person that confided in you and telling you secret things, Im 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 impotent things or whatnot, you know what I'm saying? And they're not going to share their name. You're not going to know the name. And you, and you and, 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 and this person telling you secrets. Come on, man. Well, what sense does that make at the end of the day, bro? Somebody, you, you, you know, you sit up there, you having deep conversation with people, personal conversations, confidential conversation, sacred, sacred conversation. And you ain't going to know the name. Come on, man. You gonna know the name of the person telling you these secrets. Man, come on, man. Alright. Uh let's get uh let's get within the law. Cause like I said, oh, you know, we can call on any name. We can call on any name. All right, man. You gonna get yourself destroyed and and, and your followers, man. <laughs> and the people that follow your ass blindly, man. All right. This right here. Um, Exodus 23 and 13. All right. And it says, In all things that I have said unto you, be circumspect. And make no mention. Yeah, you got to be circumspect, bro. All these false prophets out here, man. All right. You got to be watching well to your goings, man. And it says, and make no mention of the name of other gods. And see, Jesus Christ, Jehovah. Those, you making mention of other gods when you call on all these other names outside of the true name of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. Call on some damn Jehovah, some damn, um, what other names? Allah, you know what I'm saying? Amin Ra, Buddha. You know what I'm saying? All them other Jesus Christ, Yahshua. You know what I'm saying? You call them Jehovah. You call them damn names, man. Don't you call them names of other guys, man? Really, you call them Baal, man. Really, you call them goddamn Satan, man. Don't hear you. Don't we hear you calling on, bro? Then you have niggas talk about, yeah, man. I pray in the name of Jesus. Jesus done gave. Jesus done blessed me. Hey, guess what? Satan can bless you too. You thinking the Lord bless you? Lord ain't blessing y'all niggas, man. That damn Satan blessing y'all niggas, bro. All right, and and, and, and and they're coming with something too. All right, they're coming with something too. All right, Satan gonna look. Satan gonna look for something back from you. <laughs> you know, he giving you gifts, man. Who gonna give you free gifts for nothing, bro? He ain't expecting nothing out of return. 
You know, that's Jake for you. Yeah, man. You know, I pray the name of Jesus. I know what Jesus did for me. I know what Jesus did for my life. Yeah, you all right. You know, you think of the Lord. You probably think about a so-called white man. <laughs> what niggas thinking about? But nevertheless, man, Satan, man, he can bless your ass too. Didn't, 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 didn't um Satan came and he told Yahweh Shah when Yahweh Shah was fasting and when Yahweh Shah was coming off his fast. Yahweh Shah was coming off his fast 40 days and 40 nights. Did not Satan try to tempt, you know what I'm saying, Yahweh Shah, bro, when he when he was at his weakest and most uh uh, uh vulnerable moment and, and offer Yahweh Shah all the kingdoms and wish Yahweh Shah was gonna get all the kingdoms any goddamn way. But nonetheless, you know what I'm saying? With the point of the matter was it's showing you, you know, Yahweh Shah defeated Satan with the words he, with the words, bro. Uh Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. That's the only way you can defeat Satan, man. Through the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. All right, you know. So, you know what I'm saying? Ne nevertheless, Satan, he don't change, man. He don't change. All right. He offered gifts too. He gave gifts too, man. That was the point. But uh we done made a point of Exodus 23 and 13. Man, let's get uh Psalms. All right, let's get Psalms. All right, nine and ten, real quick. All right, Psalms nine and ten, and it's read. Matter of fact, I start at Psalms nine and nine first. Shalat. The Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah also will be a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in times of trouble. Which is talking about Jacob's trouble, man. All right, and you got to know the name, man. And for these clowns, I U I C. That's a big penalty, man. You taking away the name. You know what I'm saying? The true name of Yahweh about your mouth shot from your congregation, man. From your followers, man. What you're doing a disservice. And which most likely gonna destroy you clown niggas for that, bro. All right. Too much you don't know those titles. Those don't those, those titles. Those titles. And then you niggas mentioned the name. They didn't mention the name Yahweh Shah in there. All right. You they mentioned the name Yahweh Shah, man. You know, in a subtle way. But those titles, those titles. All right. Okay. Keep on adding and taking away from the scriptures, man. But Psalms 9 and 10. And they that know thy name, see? And it says, and they that know thy name. They ain't talking about no damn I U I C. All right. We know it ain't talking about y'all niggas. Will put their trust in thee. For thou, Yahweh Bashim Shah has not forsaken them that seek thee. And that's the elect. Only the elect is gonna stay is, is gonna stay dear and gonna hold down the name of Yahweh Bashim Shah, man. Even to death at the end of the day, man. Let's get Psalms, man. 22 and 22. It says, I will declare thy name unto my brethren. And that's the elect declaring thy name, man. Yahweh Bashim Shah. That's how we know the true name of Yahweh Bashim Shah, man. All right, you know what I'm saying? By our eyes seeing our teachers at the end of the day. So that's a cut right there to say that we're not going to know the name. Because if you to say that we're not going to know the name, that means you calling your how about your mouth shot a liar, man. And you, you, I don't think you want to do that, man. All right, you know? Because you ain't going to like your how about your mouth shot response. Because your how about your mouth shot is a power that he can't lie, man. Okay? So if your how about your mouth shot said that, hey, Psalms 22 and 22, I ain't got to say nothing. Let's read the scripture. It says, I will declare thy name unto my brethren. All right? In the midst of the congregation, what I praise thee. So that's a cut. So we're gonna know the name. So it's gonna be men that are gonna be fulfilling this prophecy right here, man. They're gonna know the true name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Gonna come in the true name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And gonna declare the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. And make it public throughout the four corners, man. And consistently, man. And and, and ain't gonna change, bro. Since I since you know I woke up to the elders apostles, they ain't never changed, bro. The name always been Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Ain't never changed. The doctrine ain't never changed, bro. The truth never changed at the end of the day, man. All right. But Nate Satan, we got video on you going all the way back in the, in, in the early 90s, man, when you was going back with One West, when you were teaching on the name of Yahweh Bachim Shah. That video is still out there, you know what I'm saying, in the internet world, in the world wide web, man. It's still out there floating, man, circulating, bro. So you can't lie and say that 20, 25, 30 years ago, you, you were teaching on the true name, and then all of a sudden, 25, 30 years later, you don't know the true name. All right, that shows you a double-minded man, and you know what the scriptures say about a double-minded man at the end of the day. And for people still to be up under your congregation, man, it'll show you, man, you got they up under a spell, man. All right? <laughs> you got a spell on them. But it's right here, Psalms 45 and 17. But the most I going to have that fire wake their ass up, man. That fire going to wake them up out of their damn spell. But check this out. This Isaiah 45 and 17, another cut. But niggas say we ain't going to know the name in the kingdom. All right? It says, I, Psalms 45 and 17, I will make thy name. To be matter of fact, let me start at verse 16. Um, Psalms 45 and 16. Instead of thy father shall be thy children, whom thou mayest make princes in all the earth. I'm going to all right. It says, I will make thy name to be remembered in all generations. See, it says in all generations, bro. So the name of Yahweh Shah ain't gonna leave this earth, man. All right. 
It says, therefore shall the people praise thee forever and ever. See, that's a cut right there, man. That's a cut right there. All right. And the greatest cut of all showing you, hey, I will make thy name to be remembered in all generations. So, you know what I'm saying? For a clown to say they ain't going to have the name. Hey, man, you know what I'm saying? You a liar, man. You a goddamn liar, man. That means the truth ain't in your ass, bro. Because y'all about your mouth. I said the name is going to be remembered in all generations. So, so we're going to have the name, man. So anybody saying anything opposite of that, man, you, man, they a goddamn liar, man. All right. And then they're the devil. They're the fucking devil, bro. All right. Simple as that, man. All right. Now, this right here, and we're going to end with this, bro. All right. Because all us um, woken up in this reincarnation, we woken up to the true name, man, in our captivity. All right. Because Jeremiah 17 and 4 said we discontinue. Right. Jeremiah 17 and 4. I'm just going to read that part. I ain't going to read the whole matter of fact. Hold on. Let me get let me get that. Let me get that real quick. Before I finish up with that brute 2 and 30. Jeremiah 17 and 4. And it says, and thou, even thyself, and that's speaking of Israel as a nation. And it says, and thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. Yeah, man, we're going to discontinue for knowing we Hebrew Israelites. Going to discontinue for knowing the true name of our true power, Yahweh, who the world even we calls God, and our, and, and our Lord and Savior, Yahweh, Shai. You know who the world even we calls Jesus or whatnot. All right, we was going to discontinue of knowing we was a Hebrew Israelites and knowing the true name of Yahweh by Shemal Rashad. Calling ourselves African Americans, Puerto Ricans, goddamn Mexicans, okay? All right, taking on uh, the Babylonian customs and shit, all right? Just being in a Gentile state of mind, man. But going back to Jeremiah 17 and 4, and it's all Bible prophecy, all right? And it says, and thou even thyself shall discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. And I will cause thee to serve thy enemies in the land, which thou knowest not. For ye have kindled a fire in my anger, which shall burn forever. All right. And all means eternity it means, you know what I'm saying? It means a certain particular uh, period and age of time in which you about your Rashad, you know what I'm saying? By the elect being raised back up through the spirit of your about your Rashad, showing you that the most high, he's not angry at all of Israel, man. He kept a remnant to himself, man. All right. And he remembered his covenant that he made with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. All right. And, and, and he gonna he gonna cash in on those promises, bro. But it's all you know what I'm saying. But hey, prophecy have to take place, man. All right, you know, prophecy have to fulfill first. All right, and that many more prophecies have to take place for Yah Bashim Al Shah. You know what I'm saying? Return, man. All right, and make good with those promises. It's Babylon got to be destroyed. You know, Esau got to be taken down along with these heathen nations. Two thirds of our people who join hip to hit with Esau, it's gonna be destroyed. Babylon is gonna be totally destroyed, man. Yah Bashim Al Shah. Hey, man, his name going to be refreshed throughout the whole world once again, man. And that's a beautiful time we coming in, man. And we can't wait. Now, uh, finishing up. Now, I said that we discontinued from our inheritance, right? You know what I'm saying? And that's all Bible prophecy. But we was going to remember, all right? So, I'm just going to tell you, we was going to discontinue. And we was going to go in slavery and captivity, you know. We are going to Jeremiah 17 and 4, all right? And in our slavery and our captivity, all right? We, 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 hey, I'm going to let Scripture speak. Baruch 2 and 30, it says, For I knew that they would not hear me, because it is a stiff-necked people. But in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves. Yeah, we're going to remember we Hebrew Israelites. That's why when we out there on them highways and byways, we had a 12 tribes chart. That's why we had a so-called Negro, so, you know what I'm saying? The so-called Negroes, which are the tribe of Judah, you know what I'm saying? So-called uh, 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 so -called Puerto Ricans, which is the tribe of Ephraim, uh, you so-called... Native American, I mean, not so-called Native American. Yeah, yeah, so-called Native Americans, which are from the tribe of Gad. That's why we have those signs, man, the 12 tribe chart signs, bro. We go back in the, you go back in the ancient world, we didn't have to have 12 tribe chart signs, man, because Israel knew who they were. So that, that prophecy didn't totally fulfill until, you know what I'm saying, we was um, in slavery and captivity up here in, in Americas, man. That's when that prophecy fulfilled. We over here in Babylon, man. All right, but, it, but, but it's red. It says, but in the land of their captivity, they shall remember themselves. All right, and shall know that I am the Lord, Yahweh Shemal shall their power, for I will give them in heart and ears to hear. And they shall praise me in a land of their captivity. See, the Lord said they shall praise me in a land of their captivity, not in a kingdom. So it's showing you before Israel get delivered by Yahweh Shemal Shah, which is the elect. All right, you know, we was going to remember ourselves, man. We're going to remember who we were. We're going to remember that we sinned against Yahweh Shemal Yahweh Shah and while we was in the captivity, while we was brought over here in Babylon. Right. And verse 32. And it says, and they and they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name. See, there you go. Think upon name because we was taught by oppressors and 
the the the, the false prophets and these sellouts that our oppressors set up. You know, we was taught lies, man. We was given lies, man. And all Bible prophecy, all Bible prophecy, man. But through the spirit of Yahweh Shema was shy, all right, the elect, the elect word, the, the elect, the name of Yahweh Shema Shah always going to be in remembrance of the elect, man. And most high is going to turn, you know, he turned that switch on that brought the elect back to the remembrance. And that started with Elder Alva Bivis, which was Elijah coming back in reincarnation, man. All right, through our elders apostles today, which entered to their elders' labors, and which we enter to our elders' apostles' labors, man. <laughs> and that tradition is continuing on even to this day, man. All right. But nevertheless, man, that's the end of our lesson. End of my list or our lesson. That's the end of my lesson. And I pray and I hope that it was edifying. And with that, I want to say shalom, shalom to the full action.